Hey, y'all. So, we're going to do another pop-up message. We're going to see what Spirit wants you to receive right now. All right, Spirit. Whoever you guided here to see this video, what do they need to know? What do they need to know? So we have accomplishment. Congratulations on your recent accomplishment. You could have just graduated or are getting ready to graduate school. Now is your time to celebrate this milestone in your life. Okay, so there is something that you accomplished. Okay, there's a type of goal that you accomplished. Bottom of the deck, we have new car. So whatever it is that you're doing, uh, you're going to be able to purchase a new car. If you've been thinking about it, Spirit is telling you that now is the perfect time to set the intention of getting the car you are going to find a vehicle that you really love at a great price, okay? So, shout out to you. All right, anything else? So, if you've been thinking about getting a car, this is your confirmation, you know, put it on your on your vision board, uh, you know, start saving your money, light a candle, whatever you want to do, but it, it is within reach. And we have float out, so... Now might be the time to plan a trip or just get away. Someone might want to take you on vacation or pay for a trip. Enjoy yourself. You deserve it. So, yeah, like, you could be going on vacation. Um, Like, all right, on the bottom of the deck, we have money kind of funny. This is this car been popping up today a lot, I see. <laughs> but um, this is, like, a whole different vibe, okay? I feel like in the past, your money was kind of funny. Maybe you were saving your money, um, you know, because you were focusing on you know, school or maybe uh, some type of uh, trade school or something. But I see that you are going to be reaching your goals, okay? And they're saying that you're going to have enough money to buy a new car, you know? So your money was kind of funny, but I see you leveling up now. And then with the, with this car, they're telling you that you deserve it, you know? Like you, you've you been working hard, you know? You've been saving your money. You've been doing all these things. So now it's, it's time for you not to just enjoy your life, okay? Do, do, do something fun. Go take a vacation, you know? Just get away. Surrender comparisons with other people. Focus, I mean, keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. So, you know, they're telling you, uh, that's probably something that you've been doing, you know. That's why you are where you are now, you know. You've been focusing on yourself. You're not worried about what nobody else is doing, you know. Bottom of the deck, we have surrender to rest and sleep. So, yeah, for sure, I feel like they're telling you, yeah, surrender stress. Like, maybe this had you stressed out, you know, going through all these things or whatever. And, um, you know, now it's time, you know, you got to your goals. You reach your goals. So, now it's time, you know, to have fun with it. You know, go on vacation. Go do something. You know, enjoy yourself. Look at that. Have fun with it. Exactly. So, I'm to play. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. So, Spirit is telling you, you know, again, go, you know, take a nap. You're overworking yourself. You know, you're stressing yourself out. Like, you already reached your goals or you are about to reach your goals. So, start booking a trip and go, you know, do something that's going to allow you to just, you know, put your hair down and just, you know, live, live, live a little, you know, just live your best life. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Let me pull from this deck. Yeah, we have patience and planning. Bottom of the deck, we have stand your ground. Look at all these sevens. Seven. Oh my God, look at all these sevens. This is abundance. Look at this, seven, seven, seven. You've probably been seeing seven, seven, seven or seven, seven. Look up that angel number, seven, seven, seven. But for sure, you know, with your crown chakra, I feel like your crown chakra is opening. Uh, you are having spiritual transformation. I feel like with this number five changes, there's a lot of changes that you um that you went through. You know, a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges, but you stand in your ground. You know, like 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 it shows here. You know, you you have reached your goals, or you're gonna reach your goal. Okay, and spirit is telling you now. You know, just be patient. You know, like go plan a trip, go do something. You know, like you you already you already got to where you want to get. You know, like it's it's okay to take a break. 
spirit is like, you know, we securing, if, if it is that like you, maybe you, you know, like securing your spot. I don't know. Maybe you, you work in a competitive field or something and you don't want to take a break. Like, but spirit is telling you like, yo, we securing your spot. Like go, go do what you got to do. Go rejuvenate yourself because then, you know, you're going to end up overworking yourself. So they want you to go take a break. Yeah, look, power. You could be a Leo. Um, but either way, you know, like, I feel like you are standing in your power. You are standing, you know, standing your ground. You're doing what you got to do. You know, like, you don't have to worry about anybody um taking your spot. Like, I don't know why I keep hearing that. Like, maybe you're worried, you know, to, to, to take a vacation because you think that they're going to take over your, your job duties or something. I don't know. That's just what I'm getting. Like, yeah, look, deception and envy. Like, there's probably people around you, you know, just waiting on your downfall, people around you um you know again the seven they're probably competing with you but you have the power nobody can do nobody can do what you you know what you do or how you do it you're good let's see what else all right spirit what do i need to receive You had an inkling about this personal situation. We have spell work, spine through tarot. Protect your energy. New beginnings, end of delays. Bottom of the deck, we have false person. All right, so this is probably why you don't want to go take a break or something. Maybe there's people at, in your job that are not, you know, they're not really... Um, honest you know they're people who's moving funny behind your back but your intuition is on point you know you had an inkling about this person you were suspicious about this person or these people right but spirit again they already you know you have nothing to worry about we have to protect your energy you know don't even engage with these people and then we're spying through tarot and spell work like i feel like if it's not actual spell work they just hating on you bro like they just um Sending you a lot of evil eye because they see that you on top of your shit. You know, they see that you're standing in your power. They see that whatever it is that you're doing, you are, you know, accomplishing your goals. So they, they big mad, you know, but it doesn't matter. We have new beginnings coming in, end of delays. And we saw that through, through, um, these cards as well, that, you know, you are getting to your goals. You have these new beginnings coming in. Look at that. You are getting to your goals. If it's not that you're going viral online, they're telling you basically to um that you're gonna be going viral as in people gonna start buying your products, you know, like people gonna start fucking with you, whatever it is that you're doing. You're gonna get a lot of people coming in. With the diet change, they're telling you to eat more fruits, drink more water. I feel like that's connecting to you, rejuvenating yourself, you know, taking a vacation, spending some time alone to rejuvenate your soul because you've been putting a lot of work in, okay? Bottom of the deck, manifest quietly. They already don't like you. So, yeah, you probably got people at work who mad, whatever, but it doesn't matter. Like, you're not going to be there. Look, keeping tabs on you. Exactly. These people are keeping tabs on you. Probably trying to see, you know, how much you get paid or whatever or, or you know, checking in on your work and what you're doing and shit like that because we have spying through tarot. So, this is telling me that they definitely getting readings done on you or, or they could be a tarot reader. Maybe you work with somebody who's into this shit and they are getting readings done on you, spying on you, trying to see, you know, what, what's coming in for you and they're trying to stop that because there is people like that there's envious people that they they want to see you win but they don't want to see you doing better than them so once you start doing better than them they start doing all this bullshit right here like spell work you know but spirit is telling you to protect your energy all right bro i cannot make this up take a vacation you see take a vacation you're gonna end up overworking yourself uh we have aries leo sagittarius this could be um your sign or this could be the the sign of the people that are that are um trying to fuck with you all right You could be a Leo too. We have standing in power, you know, with that with this Leo energy right here. You could be a Leo too. And that's why they mad, you know, you're standing in your power, you know. Leos, uh, the ones that I know at least, you know, they, they always get the, the the spotlight even when they don't want to, you know. So you're probably out here getting attention, you know, you're just minding your business, but these haters is lurking. And then we have here, step, oh my God, step into your power. Look, power, power. Yeah, step into your power, okay? So Spirit is saying that if you're not a Leo, they're just telling you to step into your power, okay? Stop engaging in childish qualities. What I said, don't engage in, with these low vibrational people, right? I, I said it right here, uh, protect your energy. See, so they're telling you the same thing. Like, don't give in to these people. You know, they may try to do, um, you know, self-sabotaging behavior, try to piss you off, try to make you come down to their level and shit like that. But ignore all of them and just book that vacation. That's it. 
Look, secret competition, you see? But I'm trying to flip this card. Oh, pfft. Spirit is like, look, this is all for them. Look, spa week. It says, fuck a day. Take the whole week off, sis. You deserve it. And you do deserve it. You are accomplishing all your goals. You're putting in the work, okay? You have these new beginnings coming in. So before these new beginnings, beginnings come in, Spirit wants you to go recharge your battery. Why? Because you got haters. And the more that you level up, the more that you're going to attract these haters. That's part of the game. So you just need to be ready. Always. You know what I'm saying? You got to be on top of your shit. And then secret top competition. Spirit wants you to stay woke. It's not for you to be scared. It's not for you to be worried. You don't want to be in that energy. They just want you to be alert. Be aware. Know what's going on around you. These people don't give a fuck about you. They hating on you. So stay woke. Whew, I'll be getting in my feelings when I'm doing these readings. Shit. All right, so I'm going to pull out one of these messages for you. Oh, shit. Let me pick it up. Hold on. I'm not going to take all this way too much, all right? Um, and then I'm going to read the message, okay? Okay, what do they need to know right now? This one fell out. But this is the one that I want to take. Laughing and crying. All right, but we're going to read both, okay? So we got this one, which is saying laughing and crying. Let's read the one that fell out first. Let's see. All right, you are of movement, and your movement allows you to better explore how you fit into this world. Dance on, little darling. You are completely free in this moment, in this time, and you are shining your lovely grace on everything that you touch. We see hands from all around you trying to grasp you as you dance out into the sky. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps. So I see already what they're trying to tell you. You see, you shining out here. What I said, Leo, like y'all get attention even when you don't want to. So again, if you're not a Leo, you're just getting attention and people seeing you shining. And you see all these little hater hands right here, all these people trying to bring you down into their fucking lower vibration. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> so hands that want to take part in your magic. Hands that want to slow you down. Hands that want to bring you down to earth. Yo, what I said. You are too fast. No one can catch you. And no one can tame you, okay? No one can tame you. Okay, lion? You're in your power. Nobody can tame you. Or slow you down. You heard? <laughs> it's time for a solo journey. So put on your dancing shoes and wiggle your way out into your own personal cosmos. Enjoy the nectar of freedom and discovery. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. You put in all this work. Now they're telling you, enjoy the fruits of your labor. Go take a week off, sis. You deserve it. You are secure. Your abundance is secure. Your position is secure. You have nothing to worry about. All right. So now we're going to see number 45, which is laughing and crying. Let it all out. Cry, laugh, scream if you need to. Let your body have a full release of all that has been cooped up in there. There are those of us who will hold things in for years. And when that one thing happens that makes us cry till our body is numb, it can clean out those spider webs. It may make you feel like a crazy person, but we'd all do it. So I feel like, again, like this energy is like telling you again, like, you know, go take a vacation so that you could rejuvenate your soul, you know, like so you could heal yourself, you know, release what doesn't serve you. Like just leave it all wherever you're going to be at and then come back brand new. Okay. So this is telling you, you know, let it all out. Anything that you've been holding in, just let it all out. You know, just be happy. Enjoy yourself. You have nothing to worry about. All right. They, these people, they, they on you, they on you. I say, I feel like it's definitely some work situation, but like it says, you can't be caught, you know, you're too fast for these fools. All right. Your spirit guides, the most high, everybody's making sure that you good. You have nothing to worry about. Look, surrender control. You have nothing to worry about. Stop trying to control the situation. Have fun. Live a little. Put your hair down, you know? Yeah, so that was your reading. I really hope I was able to give clarity to whoever needed to receive this. And I want y'all to let me know where y'all booking that flight to, all right? <laughs> let me know where y'all booking that flight to, y'all, all right? Take care.